So Solid Rev is going through a midlife crisis, at least that's how he calls it. I'm going to keep this as short and sweet as possible, just simply because I don't have a lot of time to record this, but I thought it might be easier to just voice my opinion, drop it, and then go. Rather than typing out an essay long message. Am I a loser for playing video games? And I would say, fuck no. Straight up fuck no. He says in his video, you know, that he's 35 and he's worried about what he's leaving behind. Away from gaming and YouTube, I mean, you're looking at it as, you know, YouTube and b gaming or being a gamer is the only thing in your life. You mentioned raising a family, that's what you're going to be leaving behind, is your family. You know, you're going to be, you know, raising your kids and you're going to bring them up to be the right kind of person, I would imagine. That's what you're going to be leaving behind. That's all most people can ever hope to do. Gaming is just a pastime, a hobby. And yes, I do think you look, you're look you thinking too much into it. You're looking too much into it. <laughs> I actually believe your kids will probably either respect you for it, a lot more for it, or actually like you more for it. You know, actually enjoying video games because it's most likely something they're going to grow, grow up to be doing themselves. Well, all the kids these days are gonna are growing up into a technological society. Everything is run by tech these days. Where you can game on mobile phones, laptops, PCs, consoles, whatever. It's it's integrated into our society now. Thinking that they're gonna look back at something that you did as a pastime and think poor of you because of it. I mean, I guess it's just my opinion, but I I think it's silly. Personally, I think it's just all in your head. <laughs> like you said, you're going through a midlife crisis and. I mean, I, can, I guess I can understand where you're coming from, but at the same time, it, like you said, it's just a hobby. It's a pastime. It's something you do for fun. If you wanted to leave something behind, then go out and discover something that you would either enjoy doing, that you can say, yes, I did it, like travel the world or something stupid like that. I mean, I don't fucking know. <laughs> and when you say about being a degenerate, or, you know, in your own mind, being a degenerate, look at it this way. What would you say to an anorexic who calls himself fat? Someone who is full-blown, like, skin and bone, anorexic, and they're calling themselves fat. What would you say to that person? When you say degenerate to me, in my mind, it means someone who doesn't have a job, doesn't have any responsibilities, doesn't want to go out and work and earn their money, bumming off the government or whatever, you know, getting all sorts of paychecks, money from the government, only playing video games and just being a slob. To me, that's what a degenerate is, not someone who plays video games as a pastime. And just to end up the video, to quote Corey Taylor, dig what you dig. Good video as always, Rev. I've been a fan since, I would say, day one, you know, ever since the console war trolling days, before you started uploading gameplays to YouTube, you know, doing the whole Blackbuster Critic, um, ML Dumas and all the other guys I can't fucking remember off the top of my head all of a sudden. So yeah, I've been watching your channel for a while and I kind of get where you're coming from, but you know, that's my two cents on it. I don't expect you to actually watch this video, but you know, my opinion's out there. Alright, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you soon.